Jets. For all you Jets fans out there, I know you guys are happy. You're one and zero. Won a game, like I said last week, you should have won, but that's what you have to do. You have to beat the teams you're supposed to beat and beat a couple teams that you're not supposed to beat. I think that's a recipe for success, and I think that's a recipe recipe for the playoffs. Now, things I took away from the game, I think the Jets' defense, you saw what you're going to get. There's playmakers on that defense. They're fast. They're physical. They're going to be a good defense. I, I think they're definitely a top 10 NFL defense, if not better. I think I would put them in the top five, but I got to see a little more. I love Cromartie. Uh, by the way, absolutely huge for the Jets that he's not injured. When he went down, I was I, I, the, if I was a Jets fan, the season was flashing before my eyes. He's huge. He's a playmaker. He's with team with Revis. I mean, you got two of the best. You got two of the best corners in the league, and probably one of, if not the best, duo in the league. I mean, that could be debated, but you know what I'm saying is, you know what you're gonna get. Those guys are veterans. They're physical. They make plays. I it's it's nice because now they got with getting Revis back. It's almost like you know the saying Revis Island, obviously, but I think. You have Revis Island, and then you you have Cromartie on the second guy. So it's almost like you have a a one and a one A because Cromartie's. I mean, Cromartie's not on Revis's level, but Cromartie's a, a very good corner. Every NFL team would take him. But also, what I took away from that game was the Browns are absolutely awful. They are god. They might win two or three games. They're god awful. They have no skill players. They get. I mean, obviously the starter, Josh McGowan, got hurt. Johnny came in, made a beautiful throw uh, on the first series he was in. But, I mean, the rest of the game, did he look sharp? He didn't look great, but he had no skill players. And uh, I was actually watching the game alongside Mike. So, uh, Mike, what did you think of Johnny football? I definitely think when he came out that he was – he definitely had the energy. I mean, what young guy that coming into the league doesn't have the energy? I mean, we saw examples of that with Mariota coming out to play hard week one. I mean, even though he got edged out by Jameis, he's still being a competitor. I think a lot of these young guys. I mean, Johnny's a little bit of a different, little bit of a different. Um, if you know him well, that he's different. He's more of a party guy, and who knows? I mean, we were talking about it ourselves. We don't even know what Johnny Manziel was doing the night before to prepare. I mean, it's a little different if you don't know you're coming in to start. But if he did have the right mentality, he would be coming in every every game, even if he was second string and being ready to play. But I think as time progresses, he's going to improve as a quarterback, especially when he realizes his role in the NFL. But he's definitely a competitor, and he, he loves the game. So, No, I, I agree with a lot of what you're saying. Um Obviously, this offseason, the Browns, I mean, you don't know if it was Johnny or the Browns, but the Browns really uh, zoned in on him. And they said, you know, this has got to stop. If you want to be part of our team, there's no more messing around. There's no more going out to parties on Friday night and showing up late to Monday morning meetings. I mean, that that's just not going to fly in the NFL. So I think, you know, from what we've been hearing, you know, SportsCenter loves talking about Johnny Mantell. They're always uh, updating us on him. From what we've been hearing – He's apparently, you know, very, very, very focused, calmed down. I mean, I'm sure he's still having fun. He's still going to basketball games. And, you know, every professional player uh, deserves to do that as long as you can do it with some control. Um, Moving on, I, I mean, I think another thing I took away from the Jets game is Brandon Marshall is going to have a big year. And now I know you say, oh, you're crazy, Kyle. No way. You have Ryan Fitzpatrick at quarterback. First of all, Ryan Fitzpatrick, he's not awful. He's very he's he's a very average quarterback, but he can get the ball to the guy. And and if Brandon Marshall is anywhere near the ball, he's catching it. He's a beast. He's he was a nice pickup for the Jets. I really like that pickup by the Jets. Um so I think he's gonna have a big year. I mean, what do you think, Mike? I think with him and Marshall, uh, sorry, with Decker and Marshall. They're 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 a nice one-two punch for the Jets. Yeah, the two of them are definitely a dynamic duo. Um, coming in, we thought that Gino was going to be the one throwing him, but Fitzpatrick has definitely done. 
I mean, it's a very small sample. We've only been one game out of the 16 they're going to be playing. But, I mean, they got two guys that they could definitely throw throw the ball to with some confidence. And those guys are definitely going to be helping them out if they're going to be successful. So, those are I wouldn't mind having those guys on the Giants. I mean, I think you would – those guys you would definitely love to have – I mean – we had crews out, and we could have used those guys for the Giants. Oh, definitely. I mean, and, and touching on that, I know we uh, moved on from the Giants, but I think also an underrated thing about the Giants, just to get this in quick, was, you know, Cruz was out this week, a little more pressure on Odell. You know, Eli kind of had to feel like he had to force it to Odell because, I mean, who was that guy? Uh, an undrafted player. Um, he, he always must have had three drop passes. I mean, that's just can't happen. You're an NFL receiver. He touches your hands, you catch it. I mean, I think when they get Cruz back, I think you're going to see, one, a better wide receiver threat, and two, a little pressure off Eli. Like I said, I wouldn't hit the panic button, but the Jets impressed me week one. The Giants didn't. Let's leave it at that. When we come back, we're going to talk a little baseball, and I know Mikey loves himself some baseball. We're going to talk Yankees. We're going to talk the Blue Jays series in a big, big, big Subway series coming up with the Mets. We'll be back.